Welcome to the next Q&A for Trauma Healing and Life Counseling. In this video I will answer question 65. Dear Gopal, I am highly involved in participating in online honest sharing groups organized via Telegram. This form of honest communication provides me a lot of security and I have the feeling that I am able to share what is really there. Now there is a doubt in my mind that this fact is hindering me to share myself honestly in real physical contexts in my daily life. I know that I have my evening online honest sharing groups and I tend to somehow withdraw the authentic contact with people I met physically. I am also the group lead of a local group coming together on Sundays. There it is the same feeling of security as in the online groups. I am fearing doing something wrong here. My question now is, do you think that in my case the online groups are not a sign of compensating but rather a sign of increased contact and healing? I have the impression that my nervous system needs so much security, a clear communication process and slowliness that I am able to honestly say what is there. There seems to be such a huge obstacle to do that in my current and earlier relationships where there are no people following the protocol of honest sharing. It seems that I have not been in real contact my whole life and that my relationships until now were a kind of fake to protect myself of telling what is really there. At the moment I am often feeling lost, desperate, lonely and sad and I am able to communicate this in local groups but not with people I meet in my daily life. What is your impression when reading my words? Thanks, Gopal, for your time, engagement and thoughts. I don't see a problem. There's no problem. As far as I can see, you are absolutely on the right path. There's nothing you do wrong. It's just a certain state in the process of transformation. You are at a certain transition state and the mind starts doubting. That's normal. But what I feel and what I read here, there's absolutely no problem. Yes, you probably have never been in real contact so far and with the honest sharing online you create a setting where you have much distance and that creates security at the price for reduced contact that's true but this is what you currently able to do and also if you use the role of a group leader in a local physical group that's also okay you just use that role to feel more secure than as a normal participant. So you start creating more contact. These are the settings you are currently in and that work for you. And this is okay. Just proceed. There's no problem. Just proceed with that what you have already. And that means also that you share your doubts, that you share your thoughts you have written to me. And other settings, it is important, I always say that honest sharing is not about crossing our limits. This is absolutely wrong. Honest sharing is honest sharing, not changing ourselves. If there are limits, we share the limits and we don't try to overcome them. Then we would not do honest sharing. We would be in the childhood where we are, have not been allowed to be as we are. So, especially for you, it may be helpful to hear that, for example, in daily life, if you meet friends or other trustworthy people, just start by sharing your limits, your projections. Protections. For example, right now there's a strange feeling, but I don't dare to share it with you. Yeah, This is honest sharing, but you don't risk anything. You share your borders, your limits. And if your limits and your borders are accepted, then you get more and more security and sooner or later you can share what's behind it 
And also, if you see that this person is not willing to go deeper with you, it doesn't make sense to try that with these people. And you will see that if you share your limits, how they react, if they are capable for more. So maybe you are surrounded by people still in your private life that are absolutely not willing and not capable of doing this process. This is possible. But again, this is no problem. Continue there where it is possible and forget about everything else. If you complete the honest sharing in the telegram groups and in the physical groups or the physical group you are the leader of, you can transform everything in that physical group also as a leader. doesn't matter. If you share everything, then your transformation is complete. And then there will happen automatically many other relationships in your private life, also outside the group. It doesn't matter in which setting you transform yourself. The local group setting is just a setting that is especially meant for that and gives us a special security for that. But in the end, it doesn't matter where you do it. It's just more safe in a local group. And you're right, at the moment I'm often feeling lost, desperate, lonely and sad. Yes, these feelings can come up if you start, if you are at the beginning and start to have more contact. Yeah, Because this creates more flow of energy and then all that is suppressed comes up. So that means, it can mean, yeah, I don't know, but it can mean that from a dead, more or less dead internal state, if life starts flowing, you first will be confronted with all the trauma material. And also, this is normal. This is a sign of progress. And again, I don't feel anything wrong. Just continue. Just continue. I don't see any problem. If you go on like that, then the transformation will happen.